Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to Affect Studio. I'm here to find out once and for all if there's any difference between the original peanut butter pedal in either case design and the subsequent Model T version, which added the filter switch and mean switch. Now, the reason for this test is that ever since I released the Model T, I've read and occasionally heard, and not often, but enough to make me wonder, that something changed in the circuit, the sound, when I produced the Model T, and more significantly, that something was lost, that the sound deteriorated in some way, and it just wasn't of the same standard. Now, I never heard this. If I had, I would have done something about it, and I wouldn't have put it out until, you know, I was sure it was as good, or I would have released it as a different model if it was a different sound. But, you know, I could be wrong. I've made mistakes before. It is possible. So um, let's find out for certain. For this first test, I've used Dora, my Explorer, into my um, Vox AC30. I've been as scientific as I can be here and recorded the guitar DI, you know, unprocessed into Pro Tools, which is then fed out through my trusty reamp box, uh, plugged into the pedal and then into the amp. And all the pedals are, you know, powered by a external power supply, so that there's no voltage differences there either. And so the only variable we're hearing is the actual pedal. Uh, I'll tell you what order they're in, what you've heard after this clip. Um, so let's have a listen. So what did we hear? Number one was number one. Uh, apart from the initial testing, uh, that pedal has spent its entire life in my wardrobe in its cardboard box, uh, waiting for its moment to shine like this. Uh, the second one is my personal pedal, A007. Uh, no significance to the number. It spent its life in the studio here where it's you know seen a bit of use and abuse. Um, now, thirdly, it was one of the very first Model Ts. This one has been on my pedal board. And yes, I do know that the Velcro is back to front from what's standard, but I started doing that about 30 odd years ago and I didn't realize. Um, so I've just kept it up. Um, fourth is a brand new two knob circuit version produced last week. And this one is also produced last week, a brand new peanut butter Model T. So let's hear them through a completely different setup. For this one, I used my old JV Squire Strat uh, with the neck pickup, it's got the MGs in it, uh, through a 50 watt non-master style plexi head into uh, my Marshall Quad. Now for these tests, I've kept the volume as low as possible, uh, just so that the um, amp itself isn't distorting in any way. All the drive we're hearing is coming from the pedals. <coughs> So in both tests, I was definitely hearing some minute differences between the five pedals. Nothing that would suggest that they were a different circuit or different quality. But, you know, there was 
you know, ever so slight differences between them. Now, interestingly, the first three pedals, which are the oldest ones, and these are the ones that were made in the period where people were, you know, reporting to have heard significant differences between them, um, are basically indistinguishable. Um, I don't think there's any way I would ever pick those as being different pedals. If you'd handed me the three of them and plugged them in for me and I was playing, um, no chance in the world. It was only as I was hearing the exact same performance through the exact same setup, you know, nothing changed except for the pedal that I could hear any difference at all. Now, the last two, which are the brand new ones and made with mainly new components of obviously the same type and value as the old ones, along with some you know new old stock parts that I've had in storage. Um, they do sound very slightly different. Once again, unless I was hearing them side by side as I'm doing, um, I wouldn't have picked that up at all, I don't think. So I did discover one significant difference between these pedals, which was the level they were producing and the output. Uh, initially, I set them all up so that, you know, the position of the knob was exactly the same, um, expecting them to, you know, produce the same sort of level, and then I, you know, matched up those in Pro Tools to make them exactly the same. And I was noticing more of a total difference between them, and with one of them in particular, it was about 4 dB louder than the one I'd started with, which was the, you know, the new old stock A001. And so I realised that it was hitting the amp harder than the others and therefore changing the tone slightly even though the amp was running very clean uh, it's still hitting that first gain stage with a bit more oomph and um, producing more level so I redid it um, with the matching up the output levels of the pedals within 0.2 dB of the meters in Pro Tools you can see a photo here I took of the pedals after I'd done that so you can see where the outputs which are on the left hand side ended up and um, that's what we've been listening to and you can hear that there's a very negligible difference in sound like that. So I looked up the spec sheets for the pots or potentiometers and discovered that the um, tolerance variation is plus or minus 20 percent. Um, now I'd seen this figure before but not really thought about it to be honest um, and so I looked up some other pots to go well have I just chosen the wrong pots here and that's actually the standard you know tolerance for pots. And so, of course, what this means for us is you could set your, you know, your pot position the same on two, in this case, pedals, but the same with amps or anything else. Put it in exactly the same position on two matching pieces of gear and have up to 40% change in the level that they're producing. Uh, and that's just for one control. So as for the question of why people reported hearing significant differences between the two models, I had wondered, I must confess, if it might be psychological, uh, in that, you know, we all like to think we've got the, you know, the better version. We have one from the golden period, you know, that was when they were making really good gear. Um, but I can tell you that as far as the construction and components go with these, um, nothing changed um, other than I got better at doing it, probably. Um, but I, you know, hand soldered and wired every single pedal and using, you know, the same quality and types of parts. Uh, nothing's changed there at all. Um, my wife stopped hand painting them, um, which actually cost me more financially because um, she never charged me any money for it, um, which is very generous. If you've got one of those, you know, they may be worth more um, just because it's a rarer thing. And, um, but yeah, nothing that changed the tone. I'm pretty sure that the hand lettering is funky as it is, uh, doesn't contribute anything to the actual sound of the circuit. So hopefully that's the mystery solved. I feel very confident in saying that any differences people reported hearing uh, can be explained by the tolerance you know, variations within those pots. And of course, we've looked at the output volume differences, which are much easier to measure and you know, ascertain what's going on there. Uh, harder to measure in the same way is the drive control, the crunch knob. Um, and of course, they have the same variation in tolerance for the pot there as well. Uh, so once again, you know, if you've set it up at a particular level and matched it with the next one, you know, there could be up to 40% difference in the amount of drive and the drive control also does change the tone slightly. Um, so, you know, you've found your ideal setting that you've always used and you match it with a new pedal you're trying out and suddenly the output level is different and the amount of drive and the tone is also different. I completely get why people would conclude that 
you know, they changed something in the circuit that it wasn't the same. And of course, I've heard people report about all sorts of gear as being not the same as the originals or, you know, whatever. And um, of course, I'm going to look at all that stuff differently now and um, realize that those nasty pots are really quite unreliable as far as consistency. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. It's certainly been eye-opening for me. And um, please like and subscribe, and um, hopefully I'll see you again soon.